My neighbor's a weirdo. Ah, hello everybody. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Me, Mudahar. And you know what? Minecraft is serious business. Now, Dream is one of the biggest Minecraft creators right now. One of the fastest growing still. He's also one of the people that has really popularized this Minecraft speedrunning drama out to the public. Now, to understand, Minecraft is one of the most watched games on the internet, and it's also one of the most played games. To understand the severity of the situation, we also have to look at speedrunning as a whole. Now, it goes to say speedrunning is serious business, all right? So when you're in a popular game like Minecraft or Grand Theft Auto 5 or Super Mario 64 or GoldenEye or, you know, whatever other thing is out there, okay? Like Sonic Hentai or something, Sonic Inflation. Speedruns are serious business because there are literally runners dedicating hours of their life to find the weirdest strategies to shave off literal nanoseconds at this point to get world records or maintain pace in some of the biggest categories. So Dream comes in with a speed run that people look back all the way in December 2020. So to understand the scope of this hemorrhoid pie of the internet, one has to go all the way back then. And at this point, auditors started to really look into it. You had the IRS of speedrunning starting to look into Dream's luck. And people had found out that Dream was getting incredibly, incredibly lucky with some of these drop rates. So to understand, there are items in the game Minecraft known as Ender Pearls or whatever, right? These are rare items, and there are also other various items that are brought into question. Basically, Basically, the drop rates and the trade rates for these items are so notoriously low that when people started looking into Dream specific speedruns, they found out either he's incredibly fucking lucky or there's some shenanigan mods being run in the background. Now this ended up becoming a huge deal, and I remember reading tweets from back in the day, some that I have archived over here. My 1.16 run was just rejected after research due to it being too unlikely to verify. A video was made by a head mod and YouTuber Geosquare using my name in clickbaiting cheating speedrun in order to get easy views definitely a response soon total bs currently have multiple moderators messaging me that they believe that the verdict was biased and that they might quit the mod team what kind of investigation was this now to understand I'm on pretty good terms with Dream. I've talked to him. He's a pretty swell guy. And there's probably videos out there you can find of me actually interviewing Dream and coming to some sort of understanding about this entire situation. Now, back then, I wasn't totally into this whole thing. I still, honestly, don't consider this to be that big of a deal. But anyways, back when I was looking into it, back then when we saw this, the entire drama was sort of unfolding between these moderator teams, these speedrunners, and everyone. At this point, that response that dream made is currently private i can't even read it anymore back then he made this giant like paste bin that you can read through where he was talking about the integrity of speed running the mod folders that were being called into question the entire speed run and he made a pretty genuine response genuine fucking enough that he apparently hired actual like physicists actual like statisticians i believe there was a harvard harvard professor brought into the entire mix so it was some serious goddamn business now to understand what actually happened i'm not fucking with you this was the minecraft speedrunning team's official report posted looking into his run this is by gs square the minecraft speedrunning team it was serious business they got their own statisticians brought in now we're going to look over this documentation over here real quick and by the chance if you're starting to think that this is some weird or if if you if you're looking at the video now and in your head you're like wow is this online class no it's minecraft this is what why it's funny okay dude this is the one gaming drama where they are literally calculating sampling biases they are coming up with algorithms pie charts graphs dick sizes you name it okay this is not a joke at this point this is literally looking into the code for the game to truly understand if the speed run was truly there now to understand speed running assessments usually in this case come to analyzing the video footage looking for splits and cuts this is the first time i've seen people look at the mathematics of minecraft world generation and drop rates and basically at this point it came out that he was so lucky that for this run to exist you would have to be more luckier than winning the actual like powerball lottery twice okay so literally you would have to be the you would have to have some dream level luck to get this run now at this point this documentation this entire this was basically a back and forth between either party right now i think it's this document enough that would be enough to prove that there were some fucking shenanigans brought into the entire deal there were some problems over here this was not a run to be believed 
Now, of course, Dream has this giant long Twitter response that I guess we'll decide to go through. People who have no idea about my content or me as a person or my history do too much talking. I'm a YouTuber, not a professional speedrunner. I speedrun against Muffin Boy Halo and company for fun and entertainment and half for over a year. What do you think is a fair response? From what I know, Dream does manhunts and a bunch of other things. Speedruns aren't even his primary thing, but that isn't still an excuse and I'm going to get to that. The speedrun was removed for being invalid for seven months ago on my Twitch with donations off. I wasn't even partnered on Twitch. I'm going to skip that. Not really that important. Yet it is my crowning achievement. I don't even agree with that. The speedruns are not what he's known for. He's done a lot of other Minecraft content anyways. This doesn't change anything from the speedrun perspective. The speedrun community is a very strict one and that's a super good thing just pointing out that i had absolutely nothing to do with my actual content or youtube and was just for a fun thing it is very serious actually i'm glad that he said that speedrunning is a serious business and when it comes to a serious business like speedrunning where i said in the beginning of this video there are people that literally spend eight nine hours a day running games just to shave off seconds for world records there's no reason why cheating should ever have been tolerated in the first place okay but We'll get to all this in a bit. I just wanted to reiterate that, yes, the speedrunning community is serious and it deserves to be, okay? When you cheat in speedrunning, it's kind of like cheating in baseball, right? Like, sure, you can roid up your arms and get home runs every day in and out, but it doesn't make you any less of a loser in the grand scheme of things if you were actually competing on a global scale with other people, all right? Speedrunning is serious business. Have you seen the run categories? Have you seen some of the fastest run games? Have you seen a summoning salt video? Come on now. If you want reasons to hate someone or to think someone is dishonest, you will find them with anybody. I'll keep on spreading cause positivity. Love you guys, smiley face. So all is well that ends well, right? So now, audience, we come down to the creamy dingleberry to end the video off. Did Dream intentionally fucking lie about this run? Oh my god. Now again, I just want to reiterate the audience to this, okay? This is one assessment in the entire thing. Piglin bartering, okay? This is a graph where you can see Dream getting this massive trade lock. You can see Illumina expected results right here, the 99.9 .9 percentile. Figure one, Dream's Pearl Barters chartered alongside various comparisons. The 99.9 .9 percentile line represents one in a thousand luck, which is already quite unlikely, if not necessarily proof of any. Ladies and gentlemen, when you have graphing, when you have the code being assessed this hard by literal professors, statisticians, Harvard involved individuals, it's gone too cringy, okay? You've reached max cringe levels. Now, do I think it's that big of a deal that a Minecraft speedrun was cheated on? No, not really. Not at all. And I know it sounds hypocritical considering what I've said earlier in the video, but to turn this into a career-destroying thing is a little insane. We should just laugh it off and move on, all right? That's where I'm sitting at. But to understand, speedrunning is serious business. And I think it was disrespectful to sort of defend yourself this hard when it literally would just take one look into your mod folder to realize, huh, I have a mod that's cheating and doing the exact thing people are accusing me of. I think that was definitely the worst thing. Should Dream's career be fucking destroyed and stomped over it? No. Will this affect his career? No. It's just something we're going to laugh at and forget by next week or in the next 48 hours. Now, I think the worst thing out of this situation were the fucking stands, man. Now, when you get as big as Dream, you tend to have stands, people who will defend you no matter what. And back in 2020, there were creators who were standing uh, and talking about Dream cheating effectively right and while dream was effectively countering them back as well too with his findings and his assessment and during this point there were a select few stands that were probably giving out these death threats and everything according to other smaller creators which is just never okay and I think Dream would agree that it's best to just disown dipshits like that and distance yourself away. Because while I think creators are never responsible for what their audiences do, and they should realistically never take what their audience does mentally onto themselves, because you can't control other people. You never will. I think it's best to disown that kind of behavior right there and fucking then and laugh and spit at it. Because the longer you let it fester, the worse that it ends up getting. There's a reason why Dream has this weird perception in the, in the community 
community with his stands because these stands do go rampant and they do fucking you'll probably find one in the comment section who watched maybe five seconds of this video right here and thinks that i'm attacking dream for blatantly lying even though that i consider this to be just a i'm giving a benefit of the doubt type scenario i'm not going out of my way to rip this person a new asshole do i think that the community should move on yes do i think that dream should be disbarred from speed running in minecraft uh no but i think he should be absolutely assessed if he ever submits a speed run to these organizations again i think the worst scenario is is for this community to made this pdf the minecraft speed running team who initially got a lot of hate for bringing this up to begin with should probably get an apology directly from dream at this point after all this ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna leave it where it's at okay this is the funniest cringiest wildest minecraft ride i've ever seen on youtube and i'm gonna leave it where it's at ladies and gentlemen so yeah dream cheated uh and lied unintentionally i guess is what you would say matter of fact if you're gonna do minecraft speedruns, check your fucking mod folder or else you start months long campaigns of statisticians going ape shit over your luck percentages that's all i'm gonna say if you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe just like it if you dislike it i am out